Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie gaming we are going to be checking out an awesome game that I've been looking forward to be playing for quite some time now. The game is called Niflheim and in this game we are going to be playing as a warrior that has fallen in battle and instead of finding peace in Asgard his soul is trapped in Niflheim. Of course I am really enjoying Viking games and in this one right here, we are going to be trying to survive the horrors and make our way to Valhalla. Not quite sure if I'm going to be able to, but um, I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Keep in mind that I've never played this game before. I have no idea what to expect here. I've just seen some videos on YouTube and uh, decided to uh, get my hands on a copy here from the developers to review and create a series on the channel. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Niflheim and see what this is all about. All right, new game. Hmm, world creation. So what do we have here? Some sort of like a maps? The ancient bear mount. Mountain terrain with rocks and ice as far as the eye can see. Uh, covered with cold mist. The land is rich with small animals with, which attract wolves and other predators in great numbers. Alright, so apparently we might just have some animals here that... I don't know, maybe we gotta collect, but it's also gonna attract enemies. Uh, the one idle wolf forest, harsh, harsh dark woods covered with snow and ice, while animals roam this land, rich with sweet berries and mushrooms. Alright, more of the desert eagle. Deadly swamps covered with thick fog, where birds hide from ambushing predators. Alright, the ice dragon wastelands. There's a land surrounded with mountain peaks, high dry grass harbor land, large predators and their numerous prey. Hmm. So there's quite a lot of areas we can choose here. You know what, let's just go with the wolf. I don't know, I really like the sound of this one. And uh, let's add some AI opponents, right? We got Olaf. We got Sigurd. And we're gonna have Erlander. I mean, I'm not sure what this is all about, but adding bots or not. I, I don't know if we should maybe leave one, one area empty. You know what, let's just leave one area empty. So we are going to be in the wolves and add another opponent here for the dragons. As for this one, let's just leave it empty, I don't know. Let's see how that goes. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Alright, character selection. So we do have a viking, Valkyrie, berserker and shaman. And shaman. I mean, I really really love vikings and uh, I think I'm actually going to go with a viking here. He's an experienced fighter, hardened by the countless sea expeditions. He stands firm on a healing deck, under a cloud of arrows and in melee combat. He relies on his weapon and, f and finds his way out of any situation. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with the Viking here. Why the heck not? Alright, let's start the game. Let's see what this game is all about. The last crusade awaits. The most lonely and bitter. Brave warrior sets off in a funeral ship. Sacred ritual ended with a farewell song. Only flame destroyed all earthly ties. The gods wait in their chambers, but short paths are not meant for the brave. Dark demons, ancient lords of deceit, abducted the soul floating quietly towards Asgard. With faithful sword and his fate in his hands, he enters Nivelheim, the harsh land of ancient spirits. Wow, alright, well that was a hell of a story. So uh, here we have our character. Enter building, enter workshop actually and build. Ooh, what, what is this? We got a crow. Ah, I mean, hello there, <laughs> brave warrior. My name is Hog, and I've got some advice for you. First off, don't be depressed. The foggy banks of Asgard need you more than the halls of Valhalla. Secondly, even after death, you shouldn't ignore your health. These little partridges are a great source of protein, protein and the same goes for their eggs. Mmm, tasty. I wouldn't mind having a few of those eggs myself, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay, so apparently this crow needs us to deliver two eggs in order to give us one chicken. Alright, that's good to know. Uh, what do we have here? Hold up, let's see. 
Oh, we can... We can craft some stuff, apparently. We can build up some stuff for our base. A chicken coop, a greenhouse, and... Sheepfold. That is interesting. Uh, we definitely don't have any materials at the moment because we just started the game. Uh, you know what, before we do anything, let's go inside the workshop here. Let's see what this is all about. I'm guessing this is our base, right? Oh, wow, look at that. Workshop. Hmm, we got a chest. But I'm guessing, yeah, it's empty. And we do have some stuff in here, apparently. This chest is also empty as well. Interesting. Outfits. We do have something to eat. Hmm, we do have a door and a portal scroll. Alright, not quite sure what that portal scroll is, though. Use portals to move quickly between dungeons and workshops. Place a door in a dungeon to move quickly between dungeon levels. Interesting. Enter mines. Oh, don't tell me we're gonna also have to mine in this game. What? Seriously? Uh, we do have a safe. Oh, look at that! We actually have a sword! Huh. Why don't we have this in our inventory? Let's just grab it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, um, so I'm not sure exactly if we can find anything in our base here, but uh, you know what, before we keep on exploring some more in the base, let's just go outside and start collecting some stuff, because I have a feeling um, we don't really have what we need here. We do need to start collecting. So we got something we can collect there. Let's just grab that. Ooh, we got a birdie. Can we kill it? God dang it. Oh my god, really? It just hid away in that thing? In that bush? Hmm... Alright, anyway. So apparently it's really easy to grab stuff, cut wood and stuff like that. You just simply uh, push some buttons. And the character is just gonna do its job. I really enjoy this. Ooh, hold up. Can we grab the... Oh, crap, we scared it again. I do wanna grab this bird. Maybe get some food out of, out of it, some meat? I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Let's just grab some more stuff. Come on, kill the frog! <laughs> we got the frog. Perfect. And I think we actually got ourselves a frog. Apparently it's alive, although we killed it. <laughs> anyway. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Well, look at this. We're actually upgrading ourselves. We reached level 1 with Cutter. That is awesome. I think I'm actually gonna really enjoy this game. I really enjoy these type of survival and crafting games. I don't know, they... I find these games to be really fun. And apparently we can also access our inventory, look at that. This is cool. So we do have a bow, we have a an axe, we have a pickaxe as well. I'm guessing this is for the mines. Hmm. Alright, this is awesome. Let's keep gathering some stuff. Get as much stuff as we can. I'm guessing we are gonna have a time of day here because I do see that here it says day one and it's showing a sun. Can we maybe kill this pig? Grab some meat, meat off of it. I have a feeling I am gonna need some meat. There we go. Let's grab the carrots. Let's grab the eggs that we needed. Ah, that's just one egg. I think we need one more egg in order to do our quest. Let's just keep chopping wood. This is actually really standard for all survival games. You do have to chop a lot of wood. <laughs> um, this is a dungeon. Oh, hold up. Woodcutter quest. The mistress of the Deadlands has turned her gaze on you, warrior. Bring her joy with the new victory. Collect three timber and we shall reward you greatly. Huh. So if you give three timber, we are going to get a chopper axe. Of course I'm going to do that. Did we get ourselves a chopper axe? Oh, yes we did, look at that! We have two now! Perfect! And actually we have three, these are the two ones in the inventory, and this one is equipped. Uh, I was just about to say that I don't think I am gonna go inside the dungeon, I don't think I'm ready. I mean, we just started the game and I have a feeling this is not gonna be easy. I wish I could hold a button so that I could easily kill enemies that are close by. What? Sit on the throne? Can we? What? No way! Look at that! By sitting on the throne, we're actually increasing our health. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, can I also cook something here? I think I can. Look at that. We can cook some 
pork roast. Let's do that. Uh, you know, and also we can get some boiled turnip. Let's just get that. Why not? Huh? Can we also eat some of this stuff that we just cooked? I guess we can, right? Oh, you can just uh, right-click on it. And I see right here, it's getting consumed, but it's increasing our... Hmm, our hunger meter. That's interesting. Alright, anyway, let's keep going, let's see... Can we kill this sheep? Come on, buddy, just... God dang it, it's so difficult to kill these creatures while they're moving. Come on! My character needs to stop when he's swinging. Just swing without stopping, buddy. There we go, we got it. <laughs> also, I just noticed that I think I got some wool from that sheep, right? Oh yeah, look at that, we got two wool. Uh, also, what I want to do is just go to my weapons here and replace this thing with a sword. That is definitely much more powerful. I mean, we gotta pay attention here because apparently our tools do have do degrade in time as we keep using them. But uh, anyway, let's keep gathering stuff. Man, I'm really enjoying the graphics here. This game looks really beautiful. It's like it's uh, hand drawn. And if you guys know me, I really enjoy these type of hand drawn games. Uh, hold up, before we enter there, I really want to catch a rabbit here. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not gonna be able to. Just gonna hide in the freaking hole. Right, uh, before we do anything, hold up. Let's just go here for a second and enter this tree. Let's see what this is all about. I mean, of course, this is the first episode, and we are just gonna be exploring here. Which is Burrow. Huh. I don't see no witch, though. Um, but apparently we can use this, maybe, to craft some stuff? What? We can craft beer? <laughs> Alright, let's just craft some beer, I don't know. I don't know what that's gonna do for me, but uh, let's see. And also, flammable tar. Oils are widely used in crafting armor and weapons. You know what, let's just craft this. I have a feeling I am gonna need it. And also, let's get some weak potion for health. Perfect. I think that's gonna be it. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use this stuff for, but... I am pretty sure I'm gonna need everything I'm collecting at the moment. Uh, oh crap, the rabbit. Let's just try to catch it again. Come on, buddy. There we go, we got it. Perfect. Hunter level 1. <laughs> this is really awesome. I'm loving that you can actually upgrade yourself, and I think I just found myself some... eggs. Let's grab that. We got two. And I think we can also claim the reward for that challenge. Look at that. Let's see, where is it? It's right here. So if you give two eggs, we can get ourselves a chicken. Let's see, did we get ourselves a chicken? Yes, we did. Perfect. That is perfect. Uh, let's keep grabbing stuff, I guess. I see that there's a nest here for eggs, but there are no eggs. For there are no eggs inside. Uh, but I am gonna grab that nest either way. Added two straws. Oh, hold up. We reached the end of this location, and I don't think I want to go to... Oh god, hold up. We just got an enemy here. Crap. And we also got ourselves another mission. The Mistress of the Dead Lands has turned her gaze on you, warrior. Uh, she needs two rabbit hides in order to give me a hunter's harness. Alright, I am gonna keep that in mind if I can kill some more rabbits. But first of all, let's try to get rid of this wolf. Oh god. Holy crap! The freaking wolf is attacking me quite a lot. I might die. I might die. Come on! Oh my god, seriously? Holy crap! Okay, so apparently we are not completely dead. Uh, I'm guessing I'm like a soul or something. I'm like a tormented soul. <laughs> and uh, we may need to go back to our body so that we can resurrect ourselves. I don't know. I'm guessing this is what this arrow is showing us. We cannot attack those skeletons, unfortunately. The problem is we are really weak. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back home. 
It seems like if it turns into nighttime, it's gonna be really difficult to avoid the enemies. Hopefully this wolf... Yeah, there we go. I was just about to say that hopefully this wolf doesn't have too much health. But that was lucky. Um, fortunately, because we die, let's see, effect, mortal wounds. Minus 25 satiety, minus 2% bleed resistance, and minus 50% HP. Dang it, so apparently because we died, uh, we are going to be a little bit weaker than usual. Alright, anyway, in that case, uh, oh crap, let's try to get rid of these freaking skeletons. Oh wow, that was easy. <laughs> what? I thought that was going to be a big battle, but apparently uh, that was quite easy to kill. Look at that. Wow. Alright. Uh, let's just get ourselves some stew, I guess. Some mashed pumpkin stew. And let's get going. So let's collect everything we can. For this round, I am going to try to go back home. Now that we know what happens when you die. And now that we know that well, you don't really lose stuff, or do you? Let's see, let's look in the inventory. Yeah, I don't think we even lost anything by dying, so that is really great. That is really great. I mean, hmm, I think I lost some money. I think I had 50 coins, I don't really remember. That may just be a thing, I don't know. If you guys have noticed that, please let me know in the comments below. I would definitely love to know if I lost anything or not. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can build anything then, now that we got stuff. Hmm. So apparently we need rope in order to build any of these buildings here. I don't really know how to can get rope though. I really don't know. Well, since I don't know how to get rope, let's just keep exploring on the left side then. Let's keep gathering everything we can. Cut this off. Grab that. I mean, this is a really small tree. I think I'm gonna let it grow a little bit because I have a feeling if you're letting trees grow higher, you are gonna get more resources off of them. Uh, before we carry on, let's see what this is all about. This is definitely a new, uh, a new area. Whoa, what is this? And here comes my dear guest. It's not often that I see new face here at the end of nowhere. Let me take a look at you, hero of Niflheim. Bah, don't act so surprised. I know a lot. I've already forgotten more than you will ever learn, and still remember a lot more. Do the old lady a favor. Find me one bread. As your reward, I will tell you the story of this place, and therefore my story. Huh. So she's going to give me a another one of these portal scrolls that we already have. Uh, at the moment, we don't have a bread, but I guess we may need to find it or Create that? Craft that ourselves? I don't know. Ancient portal. Hmm. I'm guessing we are going to be able to use this ancient portal at some time. Um, not just yet, though. Anyway, we got ourselves the help back by sitting on that throne. Let's just get the heck out of here. So we know what this building is all about. Let's just keep going here and start collecting some more stuff. Hmm. So this is going to be another dungeon, which I'm really afraid of going inside. I definitely don't have what I need. Right, let's keep going. Grab that. Grab that. Oh, so what did I find inside there? Oh, look at that! I actually found myself a rabbit! By looking inside that hole. That is awesome. Alright, we got a broken ship. Let's just break this off. Uh, let's break these trees off as well. I mean, I am gonna let that one grow a little bit more. Uh, let's make our way here, break this one off. And I think this one is gonna be a dungeon as well. Which I'm not gonna check just yet. I do feel really weak at the moment. Oh, actually this is not a dungeon, hold up. Let's check it out. Oh crap, this is a crypt. Hmm... There's definitely gonna be enemies in here. Oh crap! Oh my god, look at how many they are! What? <laughs> hold up, hold up, is this gonna be easy? No, 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 this is not gonna be easy. No, no, what? 
Oh my god, what the crap was that? Wow, we got slaughtered. <laughs> what? We didn't even manage to do anything there. They just destroyed us. Wow, and because we died two times, look at this. Uh, this is now seeing... Hmm, this is actually gonna get more stuff from ourselves, make us even weaker. And yet, yeah, indeed, we did lose some money here. We now have 34 coins. Wow, well, I guess that's what you get before going inside dungeons. I'm gonna have to get more and more stronger before I'm gonna be able to fight these freaking enemies, man. This is no joke. This is definitely no joke. Uh, I would definitely like to take care of the wolf here. I just don't know how powerful it is. Let's just try. Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. This guy is really powerful. Yep, I definitely don't want to fight him. Come on, buddy. Just leave me alone. I don't want to fight you right now. I think I may need to craft myself a shield or something. I don't know. I really feel really weak. And I do not like that. I'll just grab this pig. Perfect. More stuff to craft. Um, let's try to grab this. And let's try to kill this freaking chicken. There we go. We got it. Oh, inventory full. Seriously? Hmm. Could I maybe eat something here? So that the inventory won't be full anymore? Raw food, take it to the to the kitchen to cook nutrition and healthy meals. Um What could we eat here? What could be consumed so that we can clear up the inventory space? I'm definitely gonna have to go inside my base in order to put some stuff in the um, in the chest. So let's just let that thing behind and make our way to the base. Alright, perfect. Let's try to keep on getting stuff. At least uh, as much stuff we as we can get. Alright, so this is our base. Can we now build this? Oh, no, actually we do need the rope. You know what, let's just go inside. Actually, hold up, before we do that. Welcome to the land of Fog Warrior. We don't know each other, but I believe you already met my brother, Hog. Or was he Moon? Stupid names. I always forget who it was. I, I always forget who is who. But one thing I know for sure, I am the smarter one. Well, your mission here in Niflheim is very complicated and dangerous, but you've already gotten used to danger, haven't you? Yeah, so the crow doesn't really, uh, isn't really telling me anything. Uh, before anything, let's just make our way back into the base and see what we can do here. So, first of all, uh, actually, before we do anything here, let's see, can we craft some stuff around here? So, in here we can build a sawmill, let's just do that. Uh, build sawmill. Perfect. And in the sawmill, we can actually improve it. What about crafting? What can we craft? Oh, look at this! We can actually craft the rope that we needed, so let's just go ahead and do... Maybe four of these. What is this? To capture small animals, place the trap near their habitat. Hmm. Alright, let's craft one of these as well, why not? Or maybe... I don't know, let's go with four of these. Maybe we can get ourselves a lot of creatures. Uh, let's craft boards. I have a feeling I am gonna need some boards. Alright, I think that should... Maybe make two more, whatever. I think that should do. And uh, this should be just fine. Look at that. Craftsmanship level 1. Perfect. Uh, let's keep looking around. So right, right here we have a forge. But in order to build the forge, we do need some more stone, which we definitely don't have. I may need to go inside the, uh, the mines in order to grab myself some uh, stone. What do we have here? Whoa, this is like a Hall of Fame or something, where if you kill enough enemies, like wolves, look at that. If we kill 50 wolves, we're probably gonna head. We're probably gonna get ourselves the head of the wolf to put it on the wall. I don't know. Anyway, before we do anything, let's just sit on the throne for a second so that we can increase our health back. Look at that! That really works. That is awesome. 
I wonder what I gotta do in order to find me some more coin. I don't like it that I lost so much by dying two, two, two times already. That really sucks. But anyway, let's keep looking around the, around the base. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so we got this. We got the mines right here. But before I go inside the mines, hold up. Do we have some? Yeah, let's just put the rocks inside here since this is close to the entrance of the mines. I am going to put the materials that I get out of the mines in here. Um, and I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Uh, let's keep looking around. What do we have here? Build a kitchen. Ooh. Yeah, let's just do that. Why not? Interesting. So in here, I have a feeling we can craft ourselves some foods. Yep. So let's craft some boiled turnips. Berry jam. Can we unlock this? Can we create this? Upgrade required. Workshop level 2. Oh, I get it. So in order for me to make some better food here, I may need to, imp to improve this. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got to improve this, but we do need some stuff that I definitely don't have at the moment. But uh, I am going to craft this. Just like that. And now, I think I am going to eat something because I am getting a little bit hungry. Like one of those soups and keep looking around. Uh, build chest. For the chest, I do need some boards and copper ingots. Alright, what about this? Alchemy workshop. Hmm. I don't have what I need for this. Uh, space. Anything in there? What? What is this all about? What? No way! This is like a freaking dungeon or like a torture chamber. <laughs> Look at that freaking skeleton. What? Oh, hold up. I think it's holding a piece of paper or something. What is that? Read. Wow. Don't trust the priests. Find their greatest fear in the dungeons. They are not who they pretend to be. Brace yourself. They are coming for you. What? Hmm, I have a feeling the priests are the ones that I maybe need to kill inside the dungeons. That is really cool. And apparently we do have another chest here. Huh. Got no clue why it's all the way over here. Anyway, uh, actually, hold up. You know what I'm gonna do here? Let's just put some stuff in the chest so that we can empty up our inventory. We do have a lot of these type of freaking mushrooms. I don't know what I gotta do with them. But uh, anyway. Uh, this is for alchemy. Yeah, anyway, I am gonna put everything inside here, actually. Just so that I can make my way outside. And try to craft some more stuff. Uh, what else do I have here? Do I have anything here that I needed for crafting some stuff outside? Hold up, hold up. I think I kind of needed the... Hmm. Yeah, I know I needed the uh, ropes here. I don't know what else I need in order to build up something outside. Uh, let's just make our let's just make my way outside for a second and see what else I need. To do, come on, buddy. Man, this space of ours is pretty large. <laughs> this is really awesome. All right, so let's see. In order to build this, we need. Oh, actually, we don't need anything. We have everything we need. And I think I'm gonna go with a chicken coop. Why not? There we go. Uh, what's up with this crow? Oh, darkness, horror, doom. My nest in my nest on Yggdrasil was blown away by the wind from the realm of the dread from the, from the realm of the dead. I need some bush wood, quick. Bring me two dozen sticks, and I'll be sure to make it up to you. I'll give you a torch. Hmm. You know what? I don't think I have a torch, so let's just do that. Why not? Yeah, we just got ourselves a torch doing this. Uh, I would also like to build a vegetable garden right here. Uh, but at the moment, we don't have what we need. So now that we built up the chicken coop, let's see. I know that I have a chicken on me. So let's uh, see. What do we have to do? Recipes. Feather. 
Chicken coop. Build eggs. Uh, can we start this? I don't know what this is all about. I know that I had a chicken, so I'm guessing I put the chicken to work so that it can produce 10 eggs. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna how long this is gonna last, but I guess I just gotta let it do its thing. Alright. Another crow. Hmm. This guy wants five acorns, which I don't have at the moment. So I'm gonna ignore it for now. Alright, anyway, uh, let's just uh, keep on going here. We got three acorns out of that freaking thing. Let's keep chopping woods. I'm not gonna kill that chicken. Or that butt, I should say. What I'm gonna do, though, I know that I have a trap here. Let's see, can we maybe... How can we use the trap? What's gonna happen if I... Oh, there we go. So I've put the trap down. Is that bird gonna get caught inside it, or... You know, I'm gonna leave it just there. And make my way to the other side then, so that I don't scare it. Oh, and look at this. Apparently, I can interact with this thing now. I could collect one egg, but, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Let's grab some more acorns from... Ah, oh, crap. That guy escaped. Seriously? Anyway, let's get collecting here. And I think I'm just gonna put another trap down here. Uh, let's see, let's put the trap right there. Hopefully another bird will get caught in there. Perfect. Start catching some more stuff. I mean, I am getting a little bit hungry here. Uh, the food here doesn't really provide enough satiety though, which is really interesting. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing though. But anyway, I'm really enjoying this game so far, I gotta tell you. And I think I'm gonna keep on playing this game, I don't know, if you guys enjoy this and wanna see me uh, create a series out of this and keep on playing, please let me know down in the comments below. And also make sure you leave a like down below as well. Okay, we do have a sheep here that I would really like to murder so I could get its stuff. Come on, buddy. Kill it. There we go. Uh, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to catch myself a bunny. So let's put another trap down. I think I'm gonna put the trap down right here next to its entrance. Alright, and let's get the heck out of here after I chop down the wood. After I chop down the tree, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that as is. Hopefully the rabbit is gonna get... Oh god, enemies are spawning in because it's getting night. It's getting late here. Hmm. Let's see if I got something with those traps, though. So, I didn't get anything with that one. Oh, I did get any th something on this one. Look at that. Holy crap, these things work. That is awesome. Perfect, and I think I just got my trap back as well, not just the uh, bird, which is really great. It is a little bit damaged, I think we can use it one more time, but it's really awesome that you're getting stuff off of it. And I also got myself a chicken, which I may just put in the chicken coop. Uh, let's just drop the trap here again and let it do its thing, I guess, whenever morning comes. And go to the other one on the right side and see if we got something with that one. Oh crap, enemies! Hold up, we gotta take care of these guys first. Hmm. Thankfully, these guys are not that strong and we are really easily taking them out. Oh, let's see, we got five eggs. Let's just collect all these five and... Put some more chicken to work. That is great. Actually... Can I put the other chicken in here? How do you even do that? I really don't know. I have a feeling you only use one of the chickens in order to put him to work. Yeah, I cannot do that. Alright, anyway, uh, let's look at this. So in order to build something else here, maybe a vegetable garden, I do need some more ropes, uh, which I need to craft. But uh, before we do that, let's just grab this right here. And of course I am gonna put another trap down. Let that trap do its thing. And start collecting some more stuff. I 
I definitely need to get myself some better weapons, shields and stuff like that, that would allow me to get stronger. Let's see, craft some food. Uh, let's eat something real fast. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we're doing pretty well so far. I am gonna keep on chopping trees because I saw that we are getting through trees really fast. Oh crap, another wolf. I'm gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Come here, buddy. Come on, hopefully I don't die again. No, I may just die. God dang it. Holy crap, I am really weak, man. What the heck? I think that in order to fight these enemies, I do need to get myself some shields, I don't know, something. Something that would, would give me a, some more health. Or maybe some better swords that do more damage to these enemies. Because at the moment, um, yeah, we're dying way too fast. I do not like that at all. And this thing, now that it's activated three times, it's just gonna make us even weaker. Which really, really sucks. Yeah, that really sucks. Anyway, now that we are done with that freaking wolf, um, let's see. Can we go to a different area? Temple City, Ancient Bear Mound. Can we go to the Temple City? What is this? Let's inspect a little bit, I guess, right? Okay, so we got ourselves to... Hmm. To a town here, I guess, eh? Uh, we can craft some food here, apparently. If you want to. Uh, this is a church, maybe. And another building. Let's just go inside this one and see what this is all about. Oh! Oh, no way! This is a merchant's shop. M to exit. Oh, I didn't want to exit. God dang it. <laughs> I wanted to check out the merchant shop here for a second. So I'm guessing the Reaper here, he is the one that we gotta talk to, right? Hmm... Okay, so we can definitely buy some stuff from him. The problem is, we are very low, we are, we are very poor, we don't really got money. And he doesn't really got much stuff that I need. Yeah, there's not much stuff I can trade with him. Let's see, can we sell some shrooms? Cost one. I mean, I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, the wolf hide is costing us five if you sell it. Wood is costing two. I mean, I guess I could sell some wood to get some coin. Look at that. Let's get 50 coin or 51, whatever. That should do. That should do just fine. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately he doesn't really sell any good stuff, any sword or something that we could use. So I guess I'm just gonna have to exit this. Yeah, whatever. Alright, anyway, um, let's look at the inventory for a second. So, what I wanted to do, I wanted to fill up the consumables here with some of these health potions. Because we can easily just press one real quick and drink something in order we need, you know, in, in, just in case we need uh, a quick fill, I guess, right? Uh, skin potion, a potion with a very nasty taste. After drinking, the body becomes slightly numb. Plus six damage resistance. Yeah, let's just put this here. Weak potion for strength and get some more strength for that. Yeah, why not? Let's activate everything we can here so that we can become stronger. And also, let's put the arrows in here, so that we can use the, um, the bow whenever we need to. So if you press R, you can actually switch weapons. Alright, that is great. Uh, let's check the uh, church. Temple of Dragon Resurrection. Revive Dragon. What? What dragon? What? No freaking way! So we gotta pay a thousand coin and have ourselves a dragon forebear, forebear, or maybe a statue, I don't know what this is. Dragon damage 200 and offer two sheep. Hmm. 
I have a feeling we may be able to get ourselves a dragon. And this is where we are going to revive it. Wow, that is awesome. That is really cool. This game has so much stuff into it. Stuff that I never thought uh, it even existed. Um, anyway, let's make our way to the Desert Eagle Moor. Alright, there we go. So this is definitely a different a area. Oh, crap. I don't want to fight the freaking wolf, man. I'm not strong enough. Let's go to One-Eyed Wolf. This is home. Oh, thank God. We are definitely not strong enough to fight the freaking wolves. And again, another one. God dang it. I hate it. <laughs> I really, really hate it. I do need to become more strong here in order to fight these freaking enemies. What? I cannot pass it. God dang it. Hold up. Can I maybe shoot it with arrows? Let's try that. What? Why aren't you attacking it, buddy? There we go. God dang it. It's so strong. No. Crap, this doesn't work. This definitely doesn't work. Um, hmm, what am I supposed to do here in order to get back home? Let's just eat this real fast. And I think I may need to use the potions, although I definitely don't want to waste them. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Let's try to get back home. Hopefully, um... Hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna be able to pass by that freaking wolf. Ancient Bear Mount, One-Eyed Wolf. Oh crap. <laughs> Good thing that it's on the other side this time, so we can keep running home. But uh, let's hope there's not gonna be any more wolves around. So that we can easily go back home. And get our energy back. We are so low in health. Man, our guy is so squishy though. He is not strong at all. I hate it. I freaking hate it. I need to craft some more stuff, get stronger here. I guess uh, we gotta do a lot of looting before we kinda before we're gonna be able to fight some some enemies in this game. Okay, let's grab that freaking frog. Let's grab this. Uh let's kill this thing. Ah oh, crap, it ran away. God dang it. Anyway, so let's see. Enter here. Eggs, let's grab all the eggs. Uh, start this off. Also, let's put one of the chickens to, cra to craft... Um... Oh, hold up. Ah, I get it. So we cannot uh, get two of these things going at the same time. I wanted to put one of the chickens to start creating feathers. But apparently I gotta stop this one in order to get that one going. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that then. I'm definitely not gonna do that. Uh, instead, what I'm gonna do is head on back inside our home here. So that we can rest up, get our health back. And uh, see what else we can do. Now, once again, we are very weak. And I really don't like that. In order to build a forge, we do need some stone. And I have a feeling that in the next episode, I may need to go inside the mine. Start mining a little bit. So that we can get ourselves some stone. And uh, you know what guys, since uh, we got back home, we can now sit on the throne so that we can increase our health. I think I'm going to actually end up the episode right here for now. And when we come back in the next one, we are going to go inside the mines, loot up some resources. Get, maybe manage to build ourselves some better tools, I don't know, a shield or something that would allow us to survive some more. Alright, anyway guys, as usual, thank you all very much for watching the video so far. This has been Niflheim, and of course if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure you hit on that like button down below. And if you guys are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you all enjoy. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one real soon. Bye!